Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Appetit, back with a brand new video. Today, we are using the Craig 6, and you just saw them beams first-handed. You know this gun looks amazing, and it is amazing. And we're going to be talking about, basically, why pro players absolutely love this gun and why it is used a lot and why it's in the meta in general. Like Now, the AK-47 had, had, had a little love at first. But come on, boys, ladies and gentlemen, not to discriminate, but oh my god, you can just see it from the gameplay, the spectacular Craig 6 gameplay, why pro players use it. But we're gonna go into detail because I could be here all day and demonstrate why this gun is so freaking good, but I want to go a little bit more into detail, give you guys a little bit more of the pro player's perspective and the pro, pro player side. And you know why we use certain guns when there's other guns that are better. For example, you know, you have the Krik 6 and you have the AK-47. So why are we sitting here using the Krik 6 when the AK is technically the better gun? Now, for us to understand why pro players use the Krik 6 and why it's such a good gun, we have to kind of go back a little bit. I'm talking about we got to go back to the 1500s. JK, we don't really have to go back. But this gun is obviously a very good gun. The Krik 6 has the ability to beam. And it, it's kind of has, I don't know, it's like really finessey up close. Oh, I stopped shooting. Yeah, but I'll hit fire him. I'll finish him. Only a Craig 6 can do that. You're not trading me. You're not trading me. Okay, you trade me. Okay, then you gotta give something. Now, in terms of most consistent AR and like the best AR to use, the Craig 6 has, Craig 6 has to be up there. Okay, look, he's using the Craig 6. He beamed me back. But, like, this gun, it just shoots very straight. When you think about an AK-47, like, yeah, the AK-47 is freaking amazing, man. And it's, you can argue it is the best AR. But do you know what makes AAR in the best in this category? It's being the best at its job. Now, the AK-47 does have a better time to kill, and it's a little bit more versatile. But the Krig is more consistent, and it beams better than any other AR. So there's like this big argument that the AK-47 is too overpowered and the EU scene already G8'd it, basically banned the gun from being used. And the amateur scene is trying to do the same, but then they un it because I don't know what really happened with that, all that. It got really confusing. Pros haven't really done that yet because when you play against like pro teams or pro players, like you don't really see the AK being abused. Not you. Textbook. Oh, almost textbook. <laughs> so when you think about the Craig 6, like even when you think about pro players or the most like pro players like to play the game at the highest level at the most consistent level, right? So like, therefore, we have to use the most consistent gun. And that's why the Craig 6 is used the most because it is the most consistent AR. It can shoot the straightest as well. Now, I'm no genius, and I might be a pro, but this gun is very easy to shoot. Like, any of you guys can put this on, get the right class, like the class I have, or just a good class in general, and shoot this gun very, very straight. Like I said, it's not that hard at all to shoot this gun very straight. AK-47 is very versatile, very good at it range, at like at the ranges, but it's just it's not a Crick Six. It doesn't have the same, you know, recoil controls as a Crick Six. If you're like a flex player, then yeah, you could use an AK. But if you're like a main AR, or you can even run two Crigs. Craig, look, I'm just I'm shredding. It's not even AK. I'm still shredding. Second reason, and I mentioned it already a couple times before, but. The beam ability with this gun is just all there. You can peel off other ARs or other other players off headies like it's nothing with a Craig. It's done very easily, okay? So when you have an AR that can do that, I mean, that's really what you're looking for in the AR. To be able to, like, pop them off the head glitches, man, because those head glitches are really good. Another reason why the Craig 6 is so good on top of everything is the fact that no matter, like, okay, the AK, because I don't want people to get confused. The AK... And the M4 and all these other ARs, like, they all can beam pretty well. Like, you can't deny that, right? Like, they all have beam capabilities. But the Krig is the best and the most consistent when it comes to shooting people from far away. You can shoot the farthest, the easiest. And as an AR, that is something you want to be good at, right? Like, that, you want your AR player, unless it's like a third AR or like sometimes even a flex. And it depends on the map as well. But you want their AR player to do this. Oh, 
not that part but that you, yeah when i kill the guy with the head yeah and don't worry guys i still got a couple reasons why pro players use the Craig six over other ar so let's continue the video shall we another reason why pros like to use the Craig six over other ars on top of some of the stuff i've already told you guys The Krig 6 recoil, like I said, mentioned earlier, is, is so low that you can get away running less attachments on this AR. So you can run flak attack, no problem. So I can literally run flak attack as an AR. I feel like the AK-47, the XM4, like a lot of these weapons need a need gunfighter, like for them to be at their like full potential. They need gunfighter. But with the Krig 6, you can get away with not running it. Look at this gun. You can get away with running five attachments and it'll be perfectly fine. Now, as a pro player, this is very important and people don't seem to understand how actually important this is. Not only as a pro player, as an AR player, having flak intact, being able to position yourself anywhere and being completely fine is so underrated and it might be overlooked, especially by the normal casual player, but it can be so beneficial, man. Like right now, I'm running Gunfighter for fun, but I'm going to show you guys a class with Gunfighter and without Gunfighter and show you that it's still really good. This guy's trying to chuck C4s at me, and I'm probably dead because I'm one shot. So that is another reason why I think um, this class or the Craig 6 is just so much better. The fact that you don't have to rely on running Gunfighter, you can literally... Wow, nice little casual 4-piece there. But you can literally get away without running it and be perfectly and i mean perfectly fine and the ak-47 or the x4 or whatever and you pull out that gunfighter it's like you're somewhat vulnerable now because now you can't run attack flak and you now you can actually get either stun or needed oh my god the whole cavalry is here i'm scared pick me up mom oh good help thank you mom um mm. another reason that i would say why the creek six is so dominant but it kind of changed recently the creek six actually used to have an insane headshot multiplier which basically, bye bye. <laughs> well, basically, basically, it made the gun very, very OP because if you get like two headshots, you would kill so much faster, even like one headshot. So you would kill in one less bullet, which one less bullet could be a big difference in Call of Duty, right? Like that could be a huge difference. So basically, the headshot multiplier was actually really good on the Krig and they kind of took it away. So. It's no longer like a real big thing, but if it was, that would have been another reason why the Crick Six is so good. And I'm going to slay here. I got my harp, harp out. I got my harp out. I got my heart out or my harp out. Victory's close to make the CIA proud. I'll make you proud, CIA. I'll make you very proud with the Crick Six. Pre-fire. Oh my. They're all one shot. They're all one shot. Thank you, teammate, for the trade. Oh my god. It's like they can't stop me. Oh, I'm lagging now. Am I getting, am I getting la lagged on? So, basically, to summarize, this gun, it just excels at its, at its role as the main AR. It's just really nasty. Um, guns like the AK-47, which I think is one of the best guns in the game, still really good. But at the pro level and at a high level, AK-47 just seems to struggle sometimes in the meta. It is what it is. Don't get me wrong. It's still really good. And you know what? It can be probably even nastier on land. It might be disgusting on land. But at the current meta right now, Craig it just takes over. It is freaking amazing. And you should definitely be using the Craig and obviously use trying out my Craig class. I'm going to be showing you guys a gunfighter one and a non-gunfighter one because most pro players run, like I said, non-gunfighter -gun because there's no reason to stack your crit class and it's actually kind of bad. All right, guys, so we're going to go straight into the gunfighter class setup and then I'm going to show you a non-gunfighter class setup. So for the optic, we're going to be running micro, but mill stop is also good. For the muzzle, we're going to be running infantry compensator. I mean, if you're playing pubs, you can run SOCOM. SOCOM is not really allowed in the competitive scene. Um, but Compensator, obviously, this gun has such a low horizontal. You just kind of want to nerf the vertical recoil control a little bit. For the barrel, we're going to be running straight up Ranger. This doesn't really have a damaged barrel other than this one. And this one's kind of OD. Bullet Velocity is just such a good attachment on subs and ARs. So you kind of, Ranger's kind of the best one out of all of them. For the body, basic steady aim laser. Under barrel, speed grip. Now, even though you're an AR, 
having more movement speed and just be able to like move around the map is is really good right like you that boost of movement speed can be really effective for we're gonna be running 40 round mag just basic stuff we're gonna be running the jungle grip but airborne elastic wrap i just don't have it unlocked but i would definitely recommend running this one and for the stock of course the raider stock now this is kind of the pro class setup so we are running lawbreaker here you see i have flak intact and then ninja and then for the attachments again uh red dot micro or mill stop whatever you like for the barrel good old ranger um ranger's just super good on this gun we got the speed grip now this is like a thing where you can kind of go with what you want you could run a speed grip or you could go to field agent grip i personally still like speed grip i think if you're the flex or like the third ar you should definitely be running speed grip you don't have to but as a main AR, you can maybe get away with field agent grip. But this gun just has so little recoil. That boost in movement speed is so nice. You might as well take it. For the handle, again, just basic airborne elastic wrap and Raider stock. And that's pretty much it. And this gun is still phenomenal with these five attachments. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this little Craig 6 class setup. Basically, why pro players use this gun. Kind of went in a little depth in that. And showed you guys the best class for the Craig 6 as well. On top of some great gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a phenomenal day. Go crush your goals, your dreams, everything. Go destroy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.